Greetings, and welcome back to the MCOC Encyclopedia. Today, we'll be continuing our journey to Act 7, covering all of the easiest paths. If multiple paths are an option in a quest, I will cover them all. Remember that this is just what I found easier, and your roster and experiences may vary. So let's dive in. Act 7, Chapter 1, Quest, Number 4, Usurp. After that last quest, time to relax a little. Pretty much every path in this quest is really quite annoying, apart from one that's actually quite simple. The Hulk Ragnarok path, also known as Gladiator Hulk, or just Gulk, is basically the same as the path we saw back in 7.1.1, the Ronan path. Today's path has brute force, colorblind, and a class wrath node, which we'll get into in a moment. Colorblind, as we saw in 7.1.1, just means that you need to make sure all of the champions on your team are of a different class, or you'll take some quite serious degen damage. We can actually use this to our advantage though, as the six defenders on the path are all different classes, and we have those class wrath nodes on each of them that will more than double your attack if you match the class on the node. And on all of them, the class Wrath node is whichever class gives you class advantage. So on Gladiator Hulk, who is Science, it is Skill Wrath. On Storm X, who is Mutant, it is Tech Wrath, and so on. Finally, Brute Force just means that you'll need to keep hitting the Defender every 6 seconds. If you don't, you will slowly degen. And that's all there is to this path. Play by the rules, and get a huge damage increase. Easy as that. We have two annoying defenders to deal with on this path, in Storm X and Nick Fury. Storm X's special too is basically an insta-kill, and her glancing can really draw out the fight. Make sure you can reliably dex the special one, or find a way to deal with the special two and it's unblockable, and you'll be fine. Nick Fury is just annoying all round with his special one, unblockable, and second life. However, the mutant wrath node here will really help you get through it, and you can use pretty much any mutant for him. Keep him below 15 charges, and he isn't a huge threat. And the second life quickly, before he can throw two special ones, and you won't ever see his unblockable. As a final thought, though, you don't have to use class advantage in these fights, but you won't get the attack boost. If you want to use mags for Hulk Ragnarok, because he's metal, that would work absolutely fine. And if you're enjoying this video, please, Check for Unblockable on that like button. The boss we'll be facing in this quest is Hela. Whilst not the hardest defender, she does have five nodes to deal with, on top of the usual health, attack, special three, and act seven global nodes. Let's see then what we are working with. The minor nodes here are Enhanced Fury and Rust and Ruin. Enhanced Fury will simply increase the potency of Hela's Fury buffs, which she gains on her special one, by 40%. Nothing major. Rust and Ruin, though, means that striking Hella will have a 40% chance to put an armor break on you for 10 seconds. If you have 5 on you at once, though, they are all removed and converted into an indefinite armor break instead. Don't get hit, and these two nodes are fairly pointless. Rust and Ruin will actually provide willpower healing if you are running that mastery. They may increase your block damage slightly, though, but this generally isn't the biggest issue. Our major nodes here are Lazarus, Heavy Assault, and Counter-Strike, and let's have a look at those in reverse. Counter-Strike will give you a small Fury passive each time you dex an attack. How nice. Well, once you get to 10 Furies, they are all removed, and the Defender will go unblockable for 15 seconds. You're pretty much guaranteed two of these Furies on Hella's Special 1, so just keep track of your passives, watch out for the unblockable, and this really isn't too bad. If she does go unblockable, play passively and carefully. It's only 15 seconds. You should be fine. Heavy Assault will increase the heavy damage of both champions, but the defender only will go unstoppable during their heavy attacks. This node is basically a buff for us, giving us mega heavy attacks, and as long as Hela doesn't hit you with a heavy attack, you should be fine. 
These will hurt quite a bit though if you do get hit by one. This brings us to the main node in this fight, Lazarus. Hella has five revival charges, meaning when she dies, she doesn't, and will instead heal to 20% health, but this will consume a charge to do so. She will also lose a charge each time you get 20 hits on your combo meter, but will gain one whenever you lose your combo. Okay, so this will increase the length of the fight a bit, and means that you can't one-shot Hella with anything. And as long as you don't lose your combo, you should be fine. So pretty much any champion can take this fight, though Mystics are preferred. Shruggers can do quite well with Rust and Ruin, but again, not required. If you have him at SIG 200, Doctor Doom can also cheese this fight completely. If you hit Hella hard enough, she'll gain a physical resistance buff. However, on Doom's heavy attacks, which will be amped up by heavy assault, you will place a stagger. If the opponent is shocked, Doom will passively stun them whilst charging a heavy attack. At SIG 200, he has a 100% chance to place a shock when he staggers a buff. So, you can go heavy but place a stagger, which will stagger the physical resistance that will be converted into a shock, which means that you can then safely charge your heavy attack and go round and round and round, just spamming heavies in the corner for the entire fight. Heavy Assault is really helpful here. A very, very cheesy option, but does need a max Sig Doom. A lower Sig Doom could try and do it, but your shocks aren't guaranteed, so keep your special 3 in reserve for an emergency throw if you need it. So, for our team. Well, Doom is definitely coming, just to cheese the boss. But then we will also need a spread of classes to cover the path. The champion we can cover with Doom, and Jane Foster is probably the easiest fight on the path, so I won't be bringing a science champion. Medusa for Sentinel, Sunspot for Defender Nick Fury, Iron Man for Storm, and an attacking Nick Fury for Gladiator Hulk. We'll round out this team very nicely, and should be able to take all of the respective fights without issues. Fairly soon after this video goes out, I will try and get up a short commentator video of me going through this path with the exact team I suggest. It'll be much more relaxed, but just hopefully give some more insight into how I look at getting around these issues. I will also answer any popular questions from the comments of this video and that video, so please leave yours down below. As always, remember that this is story content, so it won't be going anywhere anytime soon. If you get stuck here and find yourself spending lots of resources, stop and focus on something else. The monthly event quest and side quests are great places to pick up more materials, shards and units as our battlegrounds and the arena. So that's it. Everything you need to know to clear 7.1.4. I have a whole list of things in the works, including an Angela video, a Venom Pull video, a gold guide, and of course, continuing the Axe Effort run through. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, and the best place to do that is my Discord server. A great place to get specific advice, make suggestions for future video topics, and while I'm awake, I do my best to be there as much as possible. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and please do all the YouTube stuff. Thank you, and I will see you next time.